Well, praise the Lord, everybody. This is your brother in Christ, Dre Hill, and I am here with my bonus sister. Boy, I am excited, <laughs> excited. Sonia Crosby. Hey, sis. How? Hey, are how are you? I'm doing good, doing good. Mm-hmm. Excited and honored for you to uh, be a part of, of uh, what we're doing. And um, so thank you for your support throughout the years. You know, also, thank you. You know, <clears throat> that is a. Uh, that has been a blessing. I, I remember um, the very first film um, that I did, uh, Welcome to Faith Town. And, and I remember you sitting there watching it. And um, and I think you were supposed to go somewhere. And I, and I said, okay, what's well, a little bit long? You said, no, I'm sitting here. I'm going to watch this. <laughs> <laughs> so that That's was right. very encouraging to me. That was very encouraging. So That's right. You know, so many people think about things and they wish they'd done something or something's on their heart and then all of a sudden it just never gets done and you don't know you know who you could have blessed by doing that so i love that you just pushed on even you had lots of ups and downs and hills and valleys and you you came through them and you said nope i gotta keep going so i'm really proud of you all right well thank you thank you so much (laughs) yeah so um you know, um, I, I'm just going to ask you this question because I, I know you already know. But but so how did you hear about the Rapture Chronicles? Is it because I'm your brother or is it because, I mean. It's because you're my brother, of okay. course. Okay, right. Yeah, every time you would bring mom and dad, uh, you know, a clip to watch or okay. if you were participating in something, you know, I had to be the techie because they were like, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> right. right. <laughs> So I had to make sure that, you know, it would play and that they could enjoy it. And uh, every time you did something and they wanted to go, I was like, okay, come on, let's go see yeah. Dre. And they yeah. loved it. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I remember musicals and all kind of stuff. So, yeah. Yep. So, but this is our first time actually working together on the set. Mm-hmm. And so, um, which was a green screen set. So had you ever done any work on the green screen or and oh. what did you think about the episode or, or the oh episode? absolutely i mean yeah i've been doing this for 35 years so i've worked on every background every set you know you could possibly imagine that's right uh, yeah when the the film incentives were here and all the movies were here i was blessed right. enough to uh participate in a lot of the movies and the uh, tv series so uh yeah i mean it was great you had everything set up great it was very professional. I was really proud of you. And, uh, you know, even just just uh, doing things on the fly because nothing ever goes the way you plan. Mm-hmm. So, you know, just being able to course correct in the middle of things and, uh, uh, you know, do what you needed to do. It was great. And then the editing was great. The final scene, the final cut was really good. Okay. And uh, it was nice. And you did some really good directing, too. All right. Well, thank you. I, I mean, for somebody yeah. to be around directing, you know, I take that as a compliment. You know, very absolutely. Big. I've I've been around the best and some of the worst. So <laughs> <laughs> wow. take that as a compliment, baby. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And so and so with voiceovers, I know that's that's something that you're doing, you know, a lot now. And that's, uh, you know, I've heard I've had people say, "I mean, your voice will fit, you know, well," but you know, I'm just. In front of the camera, I'm not that person, you know. Um, <laughs> maybe one day I'll, I'll try to voice over stuff, but but um, you know, I, I when you had mentioned it to me and I and I did a little study on it, and I was like, wow, that takes a lot, you know. It does. It is not. Election. You know, people say, oh, I I I've been told I have a nice voice. I should do voiceovers. Okay, well, <laughs> <laughs> that's only that's only part of it, you know, yeah. because. If you don't have an agent, if you don't know how to market yourself, Mm -hmm. if you don't put forth the proper tools, if you don't have the right setup, um, if you don't know how to interpret a script, if you don't know how to get that uh, that interpretation on a file and edit it down and get it to Mm -hmm. your agent or uh, whomever you've recorded it for, Mm -hmm. it's a lot. Mm -hmm. And uh, I always laugh at people, well, can you teach me? (laughs) Okay, well. Yeah, I could probably teach you, but there's tons of coaches out here who are going to charge you thousands of dollars to mm-hmm. do that. Mm-hmm. And, you know, my time is valuable, too. So. Right, right. <laughs> when we came up with this <clears throat> particular part, 
um, you were the person that popped in my mind <clears throat> because, you know, um, you know, you've already acted <clears throat> and, and, um, and then plus, you know, you just have that kind of business kind of, uh, personality anyway. So, so just <laughs> made it, you know, just fit right in and this is Tanya Brown and, you know, <laughs> and, you know I, yeah, I, that's really been my bread and butter over the years is, um, doing that kind of delivery but on a corporate level mm -hmm. uh, when i first got into the business all i thought i wanted to do was news i graduated from spec and i was like i'm yeah. gonna go to new news mm -hmm. and um i got an internship at channel 50 and wow. they sent me out on a um on a call where i had to record a lady's feelings about having lost children in a fire and mm -hmm. I was like, I, 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 I can't do that, <laughs> you know, because I started weeping immediately. I'm, wow. just, I'm like, okay, hold on, hold on. Yeah, I can't do this. <laughs> and so one of the cameramen asked me, he says, well, do you know about non-broadcast? And I'm like, what, what? And so it's corporate news, you know, it's that news delivery, but it's for, you know, the big three, Kmart when they were back here, yeah. America when they were here. I mean, mm -hmm. I worked for a ton of uh, people just delivering corporate news and mm -hmm. you know service training and all kinds of e-learning and things like that so yeah i've got i've got a lot of experience with that <laughs> yeah it, it was uh i think we told you uh monica and i we were we were downtown um i think it was during the the draft or or before the draft and and uh, we were walking by and i said you know i saw a big giant poster on the on the wall downtown i said hey that's sonia right there <laughs> and uh <laughs> and she was, she was like, Where? And then when we stepped back and looked we said that is her <laughs> and, and, uh, i also remember um lots of times where um at, at first sometime i can't catch your voice you know mm -hmm. um but then um after catching it a few times i'm like that was Sonya. That was Sonya right there on, on that commercial. <laughs> so then when it comes back up, you know, we'll catch us and say, wow, yeah, that is her. So um, this has, has definitely been a, a walk of faith, you know, not, not only just for me, but for Monica, you know, too, um, for, um, for some of the steps that we've made, there was no explanation on how it was going to get done the the only thing um that that we've been given is to move forward <clears throat> and so to take a step <clears throat> and then see um that the way is made um that has been uh, a different level of faith for us <clears throat> you know oh, and, yeah. I like shirt, and i like your shirt faith yeah oh thank <laughs> you yeah 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 yep. for sure you have to put it out there and the thing he says is that you don't have to worry about the how. I got the how. Right. Just do what I ask you to do. Right, right. That's sometimes cool. you'd be like, ah. Right, right. Or or I can't afford it. Or right. oh, yeah. I don't have the big... time for it. Or yes. yeah, yeah. Yeah. The, to <laughs> me that that was the biggest thing. So so um when the Lord put on my heart to to write the episodes, <clears throat> he put on my heart to write bigger than what I could afford. <clears throat> Excuse me. And that was scary to me yep. because I'm like, well, you know, how's this going to happen? You know, but, yep. it's not, yep. but it's not my job to to figure out how it's going to happen. My job is to do what he said, do. Yep. So, Just move forward. Yep. Yep. That's man. Those are the words that that I was deposited in me. <clears throat> um, mm -hmm. Move forward. You know, it's yep. not about. Um, I'm not a preacher, but don't get me preaching up in there. <laughs> we are all preachers, honey. We yeah. are all evangelists, so you you That's go. Right. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so um so one another thing that we've done in faith is is um and which is out of my comfort zone is that we have set up a, a GoFundMe and then we also in the process of setting up a, a an Indiegogo. Um Okay. Um site also and so um so uh to me that was a big battle you know to yeah. to to be able to 
to do that, but I am learning just how to, you know, that if you said do it, then I'm just going to do it. And so, yep. and so we have that out there now. And so, um, the, the, the episodes that are coming up, <clears throat> um, that one of them has an airplane in it. Another one has, uh, police cars in it, EMS and, you know, all these things. And I'm, and I'm just, <laughs> you know, I try not to, you know, sometimes my mind starts saying how, 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 and then I just have to wrangle everything back in and say, it's not yep. about how, it's just about yep. doing the part. And so, yep. so, um, is there any way that you could, um, uh, uh, leave and like encouraging words of, of why people should join our mission or, or, um, you know, or if they should join our mission or, you know, they can help us to, um, you know, in, in any kind of way. With music. This is the thing about your mission. I love that it is bootstrap. You know, you are, you are picking, pulling up from your bootstraps <laughs> and you have done this from the ground up. And the thing that you have created is beautiful. And that is why people should join this mission because it's only going to get bigger and better from here. And with the love and support of the people who join the mission and who come on board, you know, people seem to think that, oh, I don't have a lot of money. Listen, it doesn't take a lot of money. It just takes a little bit of money from a whole lot of people. Right, right. And that, that allows them to be a part of it, to say, hey, I, I helped with this. You know, I was a part of this. And it's about getting God's word out. Yeah. in the entertainment space where there's so much crap yeah. on online and in and, and streaming and everything to be able to have good entertaining wholesome entertainment for people of faith and for for people who need that mm -hmm. to, to become of faith mm -hmm. is a beautiful thing so ten dollars twenty five dollars a hundred dollars it doesn't matter how much people can afford as long as they contribute and support and then they can see things grow from there right. because once people see <clears throat> that planting that little seed starts to sprout some beautiful things then they'll be on board to do more and more and more as time goes on and then you'll get more people with more money who say hey i got a little bit let me give you a little bit or hey i've got a plane that you can use for you know three hours next week come on right. come on down let's see so whenever you get that word out and you follow God's command to move forward, mm -hmm. it's going to be a beautiful thing. Man, that is mm -hmm. so, that's so <laughs> encouraging you know, to Absolutely. Be. And so, so. Yeah, so. it's amazing. And to watch you blossom, because, you know, I've, we've known each other since we were 18 years old. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, to watch you blossom from this, introvert you've always been a man of god but to watch you blossom from yeah. this introvert that just you know it started to blossom out i'm like there he is let it go <laughs> because that's what you need people need to know who you are and what you're about because you can have this beautiful beautiful product and a handful of people know about it but that's not who you want to target you want to target the masses yes you know you want to target the people who are doing this kind of um, this kind of work, and they're they're coming up out of the woodwork now. These Christian stations are looking for um, programming. They're looking for all kinds of content. Uh, all of the big ones, uh, you know, Amazon, Netflix, they all have a spiritual component to their content. So you don't know what's coming you just gotta get it out there so people can know what you got that's right that's right so i i, I want to uh thank you you know for your support and for your love and and um for your words of encouragement and for your participation you know in this in this episode and um i look forward to finishing it so everybody can see it you know and and um and we'll keep everybody posted all right <laughs> okay thanks a lot thanks a lot i love you you know it uh, yep love you too sis love you too thank <laughs> you all right we'll talk soon okay so ladies and gentlemen um i want to thank <laughs> my guest uh, sonia crosby 
and um, and for and you watching us. And so until next time, God bless you all and peace.